cerebral palsy alliance is vital to so many people in our community. Those children, babies, adults living with cerebral palsy and their families. I joined CPA in 1948. I'm one of the founding parents. I am just amazed at what has been accomplished. So it's a long story uh, with my wife actually being one of the board members in the early days of uh, Cerebral Palsy Alliance. A long time and it's been a very productive time, particularly for us as a family. Well I did actually say to the MC that it was one of the best promotional experiences I've had from Cerebral Palsy. I mean I've been around as I say for 50 odd years so I'm used to the whole system and understand it a bit but I thought the format uh, the content and the people involved in telling their stories and giving a story in relation to the abstractions that they were talking about just made it a marvellous occasion and having Thomas Keneally there reflecting too was a bonus. I think a lot of you would be able to understand the importance of physical activity and, and exercise and healthy lifestyles throughout life. We know that that's what keeps us healthy to live a long life. Being active and being healthy, I mean Maria's lost 10 kilos since I've met her, so that's a big thing. Yeah. Our family's contribution into that not so distant future will be a substantial gift in our wills to Cerebral Palsy Alliance. Beyond our lifetime, we want to ensure that our appreciation for the wonderful work of Cerebral Palsy Alliance will endure for others. This is Ethan, my beautiful son who sadly lost his life just over five years ago. When Ethan was born at 26 weeks, he was diagnosed as being profoundly deaf and having severe cerebral palsy. I, like so many other parents, didn't have a clue of where to get help or what to do. I didn't even know what Cerebral Palsy was. Cerebral Palsy Alliance, or the Spastic Centre as it was known then, became our saviour. I think that increasingly we're seeing a demand for a holistic approach, for, a more, for being more than a case to doctors in hospitals. The, the range of talks from experts and technicians I've heard here shows how multi-stranded Cerebral Palsy Alliance is. So much of what we have here and so much of the services would just not be possible without your support. So again, a sincere thank you for that.